Hey, what is up, traders? This is Stan Guzman here with Seven Points Capital, bringing to you today's trade takeaways. So let's just uh, jump right into STAF. That was uh, one. That was the nicest gapper uh, today pre-market. Uh, so it pops on my on my gap scanner. I mean, first thing I do is I look at the daily chart. I remember this stock. I remember this thing running, um, and we've been fading this. Uh, first thing I do is I draw this level at 350. This is a very clear resistance. I mean, we topped out at just above 350, and then we topped out literally at 350, one, two, and three times. And it looks like we're gonna pop into 350 today. Um, let me put it back on a one minute. Um, so that was one, that was the first uh, sign of that 350 uh, potential resistance, and then I uh, found some it looks like they have some warrants at 350 as well so that's playing uh, resistance role of resistance uh, so for me all I need to do is wait for the tape to tell me that that's a short so I was really hoping that it would pop to 350 and that's exactly what happened we reached almost 350 I mean a couple cents short um, I was thinking we we're going to clear out 350 and then flush down, but I was watching the tape very closely and uh, I saw that it's just not going past 350, so I just went in full size right away. And um, the rest is just trading around the core, just getting, uh, getting the covers into a big washout. And then I was trying to trade, uh, trade around the core, reshort the bounce, and it's for some reason it's holding, kind of gearing up. So I actually went long here, right here, right before that pop. I, uh, I, I covered everything and I went long, I sold it. So the first uh, arrow here is a sell and then the second one is a reshort. So reshorted, I think about half the size because uh, I wasn't sure if it's gonna hold the VWAP and grind up or just wash out and took it off and then reshorted again and then just trading around the course. So this was one of my uh, better executions. Um, just trading around the corner not the not PL wise I didn't have much size because it was pretty hard to find borrows so I found what I could and I, I used it all up so uh, that was a really nice one fundamentally and technically everything lined up uh, the next stock was ARNC actually ARNC was mm, a pre-market trade uh, I really like trading pre-market these big washouts that's starting to get some bids and a lot of buying is coming in whether it's people buying a dip or shorts covering whatever it is I'm watching the tape and I see a big buyer so right here uh, we started to uptrend and I noticed a big bid here uh, I think it was like 1510 or something like that it's a big bid here and I held offer so somebody's selling on the offer so to me that's kind of a 50 50 uh, there's a lot of buying aggressive buying on the offer somebody's selling passively and a, and a held bid. So to me, that could either rip up or drop 50-50. So the first blue entry for me, that was a quarter size entry. So right here to start a position, and I'm thinking if it drops, I'm gonna get out for a five cent loss. If it pops through, I'm gonna add size. Um, so I added another three quarters once we uh, cleared out the soaker, and the rest is history. We're just ripping up. I did not expect it to go up from 15 to 17 two points but i nonetheless i had a pretty nice uh pretty nice little pre-market trade here um and then i just scalped it uh, on the short side right here real quick uh, then we cracked and i tried to go long it was a pretty similar setup as right here tried to go long it didn't work and i took a loss and it actually ended up kind of uh uh, going up a little bit, but it was like pretty wiki and not really tradable. So give give back just a little bit, but it was a really nice pre-market trade. Uh, MBOT. This one, uh, just a technical pattern. If we're looking at a 15-minute chart, we see that we're breaking down. So we're we consolidated for a while, and we're breaking down. So to me, that's a short, and which is what I did. I shorted and um, covered some and then it looked like it was gonna drop reshorted it and got out most of it reshorted again 
got out and then just held about a half position all day and I just took it off into this double bottom right here so this could probably be a good swing short um, I don't really like to swing these they tend to gap up on me on some BS news so I like to reshort them to reshort them in the morning uh, and and VCN that was another good one I'm not a big fan of the sub penny ones so uh, I was waiting for a pop over a dollar which is what we got exactly for a small squeeze uh, and yeah and I just got short and covered into the wash and that was a scalp for me because like I said I don't really like to trade these sub dollar uh, my biggest losses come from trading sub dollar stocks but that's usually because I get in way too big and then the spread opens up and then I can't I can't get out and I create one of these squeezes uh, so that's a pretty dangerous situation to be in so I trade them smaller and I just get out when I see that the volume is there and I add liquidity and I just get out and that's pretty much it for the day um, I did trade a couple more stocks but um, not really worth talking about so these are the takeaways if you guys have questions you can tweet at me at your kind of trader this is Stan Gluzman and I'll see you guys in the next one peace mm -hmm.